Hello, this is John Murkey from Biolight Professional IT Services. I'm co-chair of the IT Infrastructure Committee, and I'm going to be covering how IHE is already using FHIR. Within IHE, there are technical domains made up of this particular domain of interest. Eleven of these are identified today and are listed here. Eight of them have already produced implementation guides, otherwise known as IHE profiles, that leverage the FHIR specification in one way or another. So within an IHE profile, you might see the word mobile used, such as patient demographics query for mobile, PDQM. The mobile in this case is not intended to be a restriction to only be usable on mobile devices. It's more of an indication that the use case has that mobile devices be a participant within that particular implementation guide. In that way, we will more friendly pick something like Fire and HTTP REST over some of the previous technologies such as HL7 v2 or SOAP. So it's a fallacy that all of the IHE profiles that leverage FHIR use the word mobile. It's predominantly used when we have a use case that has been historically evaluated, like the PDQ or PDQ v3, um, that we're reevaluating again with a uh, with the mobile uh, target technology in mind one of the easiest ways to find all of the fire profiles from IHE is to go to the wiki page and there is a category within the wiki that is categorizing all of the profiles that are using fire in this case you can see that there are 37 uh, pages within the uh, IHE space that are fire based. There are other categories that might be of interest too. All of the IHE profiles that use fire do get registered into the fire registry, both of them actually. In this case, this is the uh, fire.org registry. Many of the IHE profiles are starting to use the implementation guide publication tooling. Here's the listing of those. I'll, I'll touch upon that again. The implementation guide tooling is a tooling that allows for the publication in web form, but also to include uh, the structure definition profiles and vocabulary and character map or concept maps. Um, in a way that is computable and also to include in there examples that are proven to validate towards the structure definition profiles. So this is the set of profiles that IT infrastructure has published. First up is the audit trails and node authentication profile of old has a supplement out that has added to Atna a feed transaction that supports the fire audit event resource and a query that will query an audit repository using the fire audit event mechanisms. The queries are expected to work against uh, information that has been recorded in the uh, native DICOM audit message or the fire audit event but there is another query in there that uh, can return more raw uh, syslog uh, information. Second up is basic audit log patterns. This is a newest one we released. It is a set of content profiles upon Atna for some various uh, use cases. Next up is the most mature of our implementation guides, the Mobile Access to Health Documents, MHD. This one's been around since uh, the beginnings of FHIR, and uh, we've been uh, profiling it since that very time. A companion to that is a Mobile Access or Mobile Health Document Sharing. This is a system uh, made up completely of FHIR based solutions. It leverages MHD, but it also leverages these other things to provide for infrastructure. 
Mobile Care Services Discovery is a provider directory that uses FHIR. Mobile Cross Enterprise Document Data Element Extraction is a mechanism that will, will uh, look at a document sharing exchange, pull the documents from that exchange, extract out of those documents FHIR resource uh, equivalents, and make available those FHIR resource equivalents through QEDM. The non-patient file sharing is a mechanism much similar to MHD, but in this case, it's for non-patient things like style sheets or uh, you know some of the older for older ways of producing uh, uh, value sets. Patient identity cross-reference for mobile PICS M is a reimagining of the use cases that drove PICS, except give us a solution that uses FHIR instead. Patient demographics query for mobile is, again, patient demographics query reimagined using FHIR. Patient master identity registry is a new uh, system uh, for patient identity management that is in, intended to target a community that wants to manage a golden identity for a patient or a master identity for a patient. It does not forbid cross-references from existing, but the idea is that the community is cooperatively uh, keeping a uh, master patient identity available in a registry. Sharing of value sets, codes, and maps is a simple gathering of the value sets, code systems, and concept maps technologies within FHIR does not go all the way into all of the terminology capabilities that FHIR has, but it does enable uh, basic uh, use of value sets and codes and concept maps. Mobile Alert Communications Management, MACM, uh, is a reevaluation of the ACM uh, implementation guide at using FHIR. And uh, we do a special mention on this page of the internet user authentication profile because it is a profile of OAuth with the intent that this would be a useful access control model for any of the FHIR-based profiles, a very modular approach. A companion in the IT infrastructure is Appendix Z, or Z as some will call it. These, this is a publication within the IT infrastructure that is intended to be used by all of the domains uh, to point at common uh, things that we need to say. Um, it gives an introduction to FHIR profiling. It has some common query parameters, clarifications. It uh, includes the relationship between a capability statement and an IHE integration statement. It has pointers to various uh, conformance resources and the like. And it also does some things like mapping between some of our common data types we have used in IHE for years and the FHIR identifier data types. It also has a section on security considerations that gets reused in many of the implementation guides. The patient care coordination uh, committee has uh, also many implementation guides that are using FHIR. Uh, first up is the Assessment Curation and Data Collection, ACDC. Uh, they did have a clinical map implementation guide. That functionality has been folded into the aforementioned uh, SVCM that ITI has now uh, under management. They have a dynamic care planning and a dynamic care team management implementation guides, guidelines, appropriate ordering, international patient summary, which is a, uh, a companion to the HL7 IPS. It's, it, it completely uses the uh, IPS from HL7. It has an additional document in it that uh, we use for specific purposes. Paramedicine care summary for paramedicine, uh, point of care medical device tracking, query for existing data, that's the one that uh, provides basic access to data, reconciliation of clinical content and care providers, the recon, and then routine interfacility patient transport, another uh, implementation guide for the EMS community. 
The Devices uh, Committee has Personal Health Device Observation Upload, the POU. Um, it is intended uh, to support personal health devices uploading fire observations. Pathology and Laboratory Medicine have a implementation guide out, Radiology Pathology Concordance. Pharmacy has two fire profiles, um, the Mobile Medication Administration and the Uniform, uniform Barcode Processing. QRPH has uh, birth and fetal death reporting. Um, it's an enhanced version of the earlier BFDE. There is computable care guidelines. There is mobile aggregate data exchange, mobile retrieve form for data capture, prescription repository query, quality outcomes and reporting for EMS, and vital records death reporting. The QRPH community is working very carefully, uh, closely with HL7. So some of these, uh, you will see some renewed uh, publications coming uh, as joint work items out of HL7. Another one that has been recently updated, Radiology, uh, has just released their interactive multimedia report a implementation guide that uses the uh, imaging study resource within FIRE. And then they have the standard, standardized operational log of events, sole uh, implementation guide that uses the audit event and therefore the ATNA uh, record you know, feed and query. We have some special mentions in radiology as well. Um, there are three implementation guides from radiology that are not really using FIRE, but they are using RESTful HTTP, um, and in that way they are very, um, they're, they're kind of the interface between uh, the DICOM community and the FIRE community, where the Interactive Multimedia Report Implementation Guide is one of those uh, uh, indicators. So IHE is indeed moving our uh, fire profiles, our implementation guides to R4. Most of the time we move them to R4 and also into the implementation guide publisher. Um, there are a few that are still uh, published in STU3. We'd be very interested to hear uh, your interest in having those move to R4. Um, most of the implementation guides will continue to stay in trial implementation as our governance does uh, expect that we won't move a profile into normative until the underlying uh, specifications are normative. There are some candidates to move to final text in PDQM and PIXM, which are leveraging normative content. So it, we don't need all of FIRE to go normative, you just need the parts that are being used by that implementation to be normative. HL7 has also produced an incremental uh, on R4 called R4B. It's predominantly for medications ingredients and a new form of subscription. Um, when an implementation guide needs specifically the R4 capabilities, we expect to tag it as an R4B implementation guide. Otherwise, our expectation is that um, the R4 implementation guides will work with R4B. Um, HL7 is working through their own understanding of how to deal with these distinctions that R4 and R4B exists. So in conclusion, IHE you know, already has 37 profiles and we continue to add to that. Um, Many of them are within the IT infrastructure, um, but many of them are also uh, spread across uh, all of the domains. So we're, we're both deep and wide. So any questions, uh, you can forward them to me. I'm available um, and I will be happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much.